हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल फाइव फाइव दिस इज़ द लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन एल एस एंड जे जे कपलिंग एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड द स्पेक्ट्रल टर्म्स फॉर एटम्स विच हैव टू और मोर इक्वलेंट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज द लेक्चर नंबर फोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट Uh, the spectral terms for atoms having two or more non-equivalent electrons. Okay, uh, so uh, in, uh, in this uh, uh, video, actually uh, we, we we are going to find uh, the uh, the uh, the spectral terms for equivalent electrons uh, with a uh, a different uh, approach, uh, which is called breed screen. Okay, uh, we will. Uh, see it later in this uh, video first of all uh, let us see what is actually what are equivalent electrons okay what are equivalent electrons okay what are equivalent electrons uh, friends equivalent electrons two or more electrons are said to be equivalent if both n and l are same for all electrons okay it means that the principal quantum number and the orbital quantum number for these electrons must be same if these two are same that is n and l values are same then we say that the electrons are equivalent electrons now <coughs> we have uh, the principal quantum number we have the orbital quantum number we have the magnetic quantum number and we have the spin quantum number we have these four quantum numbers the value of n and l is same and the values of m are also same for these two electrons so there must be the difference in the uh, the fourth that is called the spin quantum number that is due to the fact that pauli pauli's exclusion principle do not allow that two or more electrons cannot be in the same energy state okay it also means that at least we should have one quantum number different for the electrons okay okay so one of the quantum numbers that is uh, the spin quantum number will be different for two electrons okay if we take if uh, two electrons so these are called uh, equivalent electrons which have same values of n and n but they should have a different value of ms okay now before uh, doing uh, you know to uh, before uh, we find this uh, uh, the spectral terms let us see <coughs> there are two facts the first fact the first fact is that a closed subshell a closed subshell uh, like uh, the s2 or p6 or d10 okay the these are you know uh, closed subshell because the s uh, contain maximum of two electrons uh, p contain six and uh, d contain 10 theek okay? hai okay uh, these uh, always form a 1s0 term only it means we have if we have a, uh, if we have a configuration uh, which uh, leads to this uh, closed subshell then we just have a 1s0 term okay now a closed shell a closed shell we know the number of uh, or maximum electrons i can say electrons in a closed shell are 
टू इंटू टू एल प्लस वन सो वी पुट एस इज इक्वल टू सॉरी फॉर दिस एस स्टेट एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नंबर रिलेक्टन टू फॉर पी स्टेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एल इज वन पुटिंग एल इन वन इन दिस एल इल गेट दिस सिक्स एंड पुटिंग यू नो टू इन दिस एंड टू इंटू टू फोर प्लस वन फाइव टू जेट टेन ओके ओके नाउ इट हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड इट आल्सो हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लेट अस सी हाउ कैन हाउ कैन वी से दैट इट विल कंटेन ओनली वन टर्म नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल दिस दिस एस टू कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ओके इन दिस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वी विल हैव टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स if uh, two electrons uh, will be in the uh, you know same uh, state okay but uh, one that is the l value that is the uh, sorry the s value that should be different okay it means that we have for a state a pair of electrons which have opposite spins so we can say that the Sum of these spins, quantum number, will be zero. Okay. Now, for example, now we have uh, for uh, this S state, uh, we know that L is equal to zero. So let's take the uh, P six state. For this this P state, we have uh, you know <coughs> L. The value of L is equal to one for a P state. Okay, for a P state, the value of L can be okay one. So we have the number of values of uh, you know M L. It will be one one zero zero and minus one minus one. So if we add uh, all these values it will contribute to zero it means that for these closed subcells the uh, the sum of the spin quantum number of the uh, you know uh, various uh, uh, you know uh, electrons uh, when we add add they, they contribute to zero and for uh, the no uh, the also the orbital quantum number so we have ml is equal to 0 for this and capital ms is also equal to 0 okay these form parallel anti parallel pairs in this and this and in this okay so it means for this particular the uh, the spectral term for these the we can uh, write that uh, capital l is equal to 0 okay and capital s is also equal to 0 therefore the multiplicity will be equal to 2s plus 1 that is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 and the j is equal to l plus s and it will also be equal to 1 so the only state which is possible for these type of uh, you know complete subshells the only term possible is 1 <coughs> and s and no sorry uh, this is 0 so the only term possible for a closed shell configuration is 1s0 okay <coughs> Uh, this was the first rule remember this rule and uh, now we'll move on to the second rule <coughs> second is this the terms of a configuration that is nl raised to power q are the same as the terms 
of the configuration nl 2 r minus q where r is the maximum number that is 2 into 2l plus 1 electrons <coughs> okay it means that suppose i have a state p state okay now if we have a p state <coughs> As you consider I have to find the term you know spectral term for P2 then I can say that the spectral term for P2 and the spectral term for the maximum number of electrons in PR6 and 6 minus 2 are the same it means P2 and P4 <coughs> have same terms that is same spectral terms similarly p1 and p5 will have same spectral terms and uh, then uh, p3 p3 is the same and p2 and uh, p4 okay uh, suppose we have a, a d d state okay so uh, D have the maximum electrons, uh, 10 electrons, okay. So, I can write that D2 and D8 have same spectral terms. Similarly, D3 and D7, okay, D4 and D4 and D6 all these will have the same terms okay. now why is it so this so as as we have we have seen that uh, when these subcells are complete when this p subshell for example it is complete then the total contribution of the s and l is equal to zero okay suppose i have this uh, you know this is p2 and this p4 state if we have these two states uh, sorry uh, we have this p2 and p4 state, okay the maximum number of electrons in this state is six okay so if the maximum number of electron is six and the l is equal to zero for this state and s is equal to zero for this state for this you know uh, completely filled okay it means that p4 as well as this p2 they contribute they add up they add up to make the configuration equal to zero uh, make this uh, l is equal to zero so s is equal to is equal to zero for this okay so they cancel each others uh, you know l and s value to make the p6 term uh, L is equal to 0 and S is equal to 0 okay okay that's why it is uh, this rule is applicable for uh, these states okay <coughs> now let us uh, try to find the <coughs> spectral terms for <coughs> equivalent electrons two equivalent electrons okay so uh, uh, let us take two p electrons okay this p2 okay now <coughs> we uh, we can find uh, this uh, you know uh, we are uh, actually studying about uh, the ls coupling so of course uh, we will find uh, the spectral terms using ls coupling and to f uh, apply the ls coupling on this first of all we have to find all the l's and then we have to find 
all the s and uh, we'll add up the l's to make capital l we uh, add up uh, the small s to make uh, s the, the uh, various s to make a capital s and we add them up to make the j values okay then we'll write the specter term so there are two ways uh, first of all uh, uh, we can uh, do it you know uh, adding up uh, all the l's and adding up all the s and uh, uh, you know we can neglect uh, those uh, which do not follow the uh, poly exclusion principle and we can find out uh, the specter term but uh, there is uh, another way which is much easier way to find the spectral terms uh, for uh, this particular for example uh, p2 or uh, you know equivalent electrons or d2 uh, are equivalent electrons okay so let us find uh, this by using breed scheme okay <coughs> now we'll apply the breed scheme <coughs> Uh, this uh, breed scheme was uh, first given by uh, Gregory Breed. Uh, he was uh, an uh, uh, German American, uh, uh, American born uh, German, uh, sorry, uh, German born American uh, physicist uh, Gregory Breed. Uh, he first uh, gave this uh, scheme. To find the spectral terms of uh, equivalent electrons. Now, we, what electrons we have? We have a, uh, uh, you know, two p electrons. Okay, this is the first p. This is the second. For uh, this is the second electron. Okay. <coughs> okay, and uh, uh, these electrons can be can have uh, any value of uh, n. Okay, uh, uh, they can be three p or two p. Okay, but the n should be same and l should be same that is for the equivalent electrons so we have these two electrons okay the value of l for this is 1 and the value of l for this is also 1 because it is a p p state the value of s1 is equal to 1 by 2 and the value of s2 is equal to 1 by 2 okay but remember, uh, uh, these are not uh, spin quantum number, these are just spins. Okay, <laughs> one should be, you know, cancel out in uh, some uh, way. Okay, now, <coughs> first of all, we have to, uh, so, sorry, uh, we have to find the ML values. The ML1 values will be minus 1, 0 and plus 1. And ML2 values will be minus 1, 0 and plus 1 also we have to write these values in a, uh, in a in a table okay how we can write it we can write it in this way <coughs> first of all write this ml values here and write the ml values for the uh, second electron now we can write plus 1 and 0 and minus 1 and we can write plus 1 and 0 and minus 1 okay now we uh, we have uh, we can uh, here we can write 1 and minus 1 that is 0 then 0 and 1 that is 1 and 1 and 1 that is 2 here we can write minus 1 and this is 0 so minus 1 this is 0 and this is 0 so it is 0 this is 0 and this is 1 so it is 1 okay and here this is minus 1 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 1 this is 0 this is minus 1 and this is minus 1 and plus 1 and that this will be also 0 okay now if you see 
now we have uh, we can see that we have three sets uh, we can uh, find it uh, by using this by dotted lines okay <coughs> if uh, this for this this is a particular capital m l this is particular capital m l this is particular capital m l it means these nine values we have nine values of capital m l okay and these nine values uh, they form three sets okay these nine values of ml form three sets okay we have uh, formed three sets and these sets are okay the first set two this this is the first set okay two one zero minus one minus two set one and this set two one zero minus one this is set two and then this is zero this is set three now we have three sets okay now <coughs> these correspond to this corresponds to the capital l value 2 this corresponds to the capital l value 1 and this corresponds to capital value 0 it means we have <coughs> for l is equal to 0 we have a d state okay that is for l is equal to 2 for l is equal to 1 we have a p state and for l is equal to 0 we have s state okay now let us found the terms okay <coughs> now the spins of the two electrons are 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 now these two can act uh, can add it uh, add up to make s is equal to 0 or s is equal to 1 okay for s is equal to 1 if s is equal to 1 it means s is equal to 1 by 2 and s2 is also equal to 1 by 2 these two add up to form s is equal to 1 it means if we see Pauli exclusion principle <coughs> now the two electrons have the same values of spin quantum number okay to have the same values of spin quantum number it means it is not possible for the two electrons which have s which contribute to make s is equal to 1 they can not have the same value of ml okay so if uh, uh, this is actually ms uh, if uh, the ms values are same so the l values should be different okay so we can see that that the diagonal values these are the diagonal values and for the diagonal values we have this is minus 1 this is minus 1 l is same this is 0 this is 0 l is same and this is 1 uh, sorry uh, this is 1 and this is this is plus 1 this is plus 1 so for these the uh, along the diagonal we have the same l values okay so so for s is equal to 1 we cannot take any <coughs> you know ml value that is along the diagonal we can only use 
the values from one side of the diagonal because the other side uh, you know they are also the same one zero minus one one zero minus one so we can take only just uh, which can take just one value okay so for s capital s is equal to one we have ml is equal to one zero and minus one it means l is equal to one so uh, which state uh, uh, for which state we have l is equal to one is equal to one okay the j values for this will be equal to l minus s that is zero to l plus s that is two so the j values will be zero one and two so and the multiplicity multiplicity will be equal to 2s plus 1 and that is equal to 3 because s is equal to 1 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 so the terms will be 3p p because l is equal to 1 3p 0 3p 1 and 3p uh, 2 okay so we have these two values okay these three values now if uh, for s is equal to 0 for s is equal to 0 both have a different values of the spin quantum number it means that there is no restriction on the uh, diagonal values or other values but we have already used uh, you know uh, these uh, uh, set two values okay so we only have the set one values okay so <coughs> if we have s is equal to zero we can have uh, you know l is equal to zero or l is equal to one oh, sorry l is equal to two so for multiplicity will be multiplicity will be 1 why if I put s is equal to 0 in this we will have 1 so multiplicity for both of these will be equal to 1 for this s is equal to 0 l is equal to 0 j, j is also 0 so I write this state as 1s 0 ok and this another state for this state j is equal to l minus s that is 2 so uh, next state is you know 1d and uh, this is 1d2 okay so we can see that for uh, for two equivalent electrons which have we are two equivalent electrons that is 2p electrons we have the following terms that is 1s0 1d2 then 3p 0 1 and 2 okay and remember same are the states for p4 which are also equal to these two states we have already given so uh, guys this uh, was all about the breed scheme we can apply breed scheme on the you know d electrons or uh, you know other equivalent electrons and uh, the uh, it is not uh, that e easy to uh, apply these on the d electrons okay so it uh, it's a little bit tedious so uh, uh, you but you can try it it is not impossible okay so uh, these are, uh, are about uh, the equivalent electron uh, in the uh, uh, next uh, lecture uh, we will uh, see uh, what should be the order of these uh, terms uh, and these fine structure levels uh, according to uh, their energies okay in uh, if we plot these into energy levels in the uh, energy diagram so what should be the order okay so in the uh, next uh, discuss about that okay uh, okay bye